Hi guys, it's Steffi here from feancards.blogspot.co.uk and welcome back to week three of the Happy Crafters Design Team project using this fantastic stamp set here. For today's project I've decided to do a 3D project and the stamps I'm using today is this beautiful rose and also this vine e type one as well. So I want to bring in the project that I've made and this is it. I've used obviously Whisper White and Pink Pirouette ink. And I've just hand stamped the bottom box with that rose. And then I've stamped the vine going round the lid. I've used two circles from our layering circles um, framelits to create this. And then I've stamped this flower out and fussy cut it. And then just added that with the dimensional. For the one I'm going to do, I've done a bigger... Like of that circle there, I've done a bigger one, so it's only a slight hint of the scallop. And inside this box, it holds some tea lights. And these tea lights are beautiful, they smell lovely, tooty fruity. And I got these out of my local pound shop, I think it was, and they were a pound for ten. Um, so I could get two of these little boxes for, you know, equivalent of 50 pence each, plus the packaging that's taking me to make it. So I'll just pop that to one side and I will show you what you need to make it. So for the base, you need a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures six and a half inches by four and a quarter. And then what you want to do is you want to score it at one inch, two inch, three, four, five and six. And then you want to rotate it and you want to score it at one and a quarter. And then for the lid, you're going to need a piece of, this is sweet sugar plum cardstock. And this measures six and five eighths by two. On the long side, you want to score it at one and one eighth, two and one eighth, three and one eighth, four and one eighth, five and one eighth, and six and one eighth. And then rotate it and score it at one and a quarter. Okay. So that's the cardstock that we need. And I've went ahead and I've pre-cut these out. I've used this in um, Rich Razzleberry and then just that one in Whisper White. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, it's gone. And then what I've also done as well is I've stamped the rose on a piece of Sweet Sugar Plum cardstock in Rich Razzleberry ink. And that's just going to get laid on top of there with the dimensional. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll start we'll start with doing our stamping and the inks I've got for this is rich raspberry and sweet sugar plum so I'm going to first stamp one color and then we'll go in with the other so you just want to randomly stamp it or oh, one second I always forget to bring my paper in And just bear in mind that you're going to be leaving gaps for your other colour to come in as well. It doesn't have to be in any set way, just whichever way you would like it. So I'll leave that bit there for the time being. Clean my stamp. And then we'll come in with the rich raspberry. These ones I think I'll have gone in the opposite direction. It should be that way. It's a nice, quick and easy project to do. And I just think it looks so pretty. Obviously my stamping's not great, but you could take a bit of time um, in doing this part of it. Right, so there we go. There's all of our hand stamping done on that one. And just close. I don't need this one no more. What I might as well do... Is stamp this one as well 
but I forget to bring up a large block so I'll just have to stamp half it at a time and do it that way if it's going to stick oh, I'll have to go and get me other block I'll do that in a second what we'll do we'll start making this bottom base first so let's pop them to one side for the time being so now all you want to do is you want to come in and you want to fold and burnish all of um, your score lines when I can find my bone folder. I've lost it. I was going to pause you while I go and find my bone folder and I'll be right back. Right, sorry about that guys. It was in my pocket. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish our score lines. Easier. Now what we want to do this skinny rectangle here, we want to cut that completely away and just wedge in and a little bit at the top. Okay. Then all of these lines here we're going to cut up to the score line. And what I like to do is I like to cut away the score line itself. And just when you pull it down, always pull away. So if you pull the other way, it might rip your card. Okay, so we're just going to do that all the way along. Last one. So then you'll be left with something that looks like that. Get rid of my rubbish out of the way. I'm just going to come in with some of my tape. I'm just going to use this red line one because it's the one I've got to hand. And when I find the end, there it is. You just want to put some double tape along this tab at the end. Could have just used fast fuse. Would have been quicker for you to watch. And see if I can get it off because I haven't got my poly tool. Yeah, this looks so much harder than what it actually is. Right. Should not if I stab myself. And then all you want to do is you just want to bring this round and you just want to line it up so it it matches here. Just like that, okay. Then what we want to do is we want to turn it upside down and I just like to put the flaps like like this. Get some tombow. And what we're going to do to form the hexagon shape, you want to match these the opposite pieces up like that, and that will give you your true hexagon shape. So you do that one, then that one. And then that one, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in with the fast fuse. And just for being the first one, I'm just going to put a little bit on here. Because it will hold it quicker than what the glue will. Do you know what so bring that in. And then just make sure that's lined up. And then press it down. Get your fingers in there, just hold it just like that, and then just put a little bit of glue on the center here, and then bring in 
move the other sides just press and hold that down and then we want this one to match up put some glue on the opposite flap and then fold that over too so it matches add some more glue in the middle and bring over that one and then you just want to put some glue on this last one and press and hold that down if you want you can get your bone folder in there just to press it down and make sure it's all nice and stuck so there we have our hexkin base box and what I'm going to do we're going to start with the lid but before I fold and burnish it we'll go ahead and we will stamp the vines onto that get my, my scrap paper back in and my rich razzleberry ink and just ink it up and then what well, side we're going to stamp on is this smaller section here okay so just stamp that down and there we go it's easy as that put that to one side pop the clear definitely done with that now give that a couple of minutes to dry and we'll just go ahead and fold and burnish like we did with the other one just like that put my glue to one side put the lid on so it doesn't dry up right on this one we want to take this long skinny edge way here so slightly miter in there and then just cut away that section okay and then as with the other one we're going to cut up the long score lines here cutting away the score line and just do that all the way along Last one now. There we go. So that is what we'll be left with. Now again, on this little tab on the end, we want to put some glue or um, tape. I'm just going to use my fast fuse just for quickness. And then again, you want to just line that up so it's all nice and flush and then just press down and we're just going to assemble the lid in exactly the same way as we've done the base of the box but what i like to do to make sure it fits properly this bit i like to put it over here over the box we've made sometimes it is a bit fiddly and it feels like it's not going to go on but trust me, just persevere with it because it just needs to get used to where it's got to go. And I'll go try and go on at the same time. So just bear with me. It's my tea. It's always going to take me forever because I'm trying to do it on camera. But at least there's no balls today, so you just won't have to sit and watch me struggle to do a ball today. Right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is, where this score line is here, I'm going to push that down on the lid until to there. So as you can see, that's now flush. And then what we're going to do, we're going to attach these in exactly the same way that we've just done. And because you've got that support there, I don't feel the need to use fuse on this one. I can just use my Tombow. And press that down a bit in the middle 
and press that down on the opposite tab and make sure that's all lined up and then bring this one over and then finally this last one which is a little bit bigger and um, because of my measurements but it still works in the same process so we can take that off now and just get in with our bone folder make sure it's all stuck down and now we go you just have to show it who's boss for the first couple of times you um put this on and off the box it will um slide on better the more times you play with it okay so we'll pop our candles in one two three four five and then we'll pop i'm going to try and make sure i've got the the joins at the back and then just put that back on like that okay <clears throat> so now it's just for the final touches really so i'm going to glue this on top of there it's nice and equal and then I'm just going to attach it to the top of our box with some Tombow and that just hides all of the workings there as well just stick that on like that then our flower just use one of our dimensionals just going to stick that on there like that and then just stick that in the middle and there we have my little cute tea light hexagonal box and i just think it's beautiful you know and i like it in both of the colors so hopefully you like what you see and thank you very much for watching and um, i'll be back next week with another design team project and i'm also hoping to get another video out to you um, sometime this week so fingers crossed okay thank you all for watching bye